All right, guys, so back to my story of how I made my comeback to football. Um, I did say in my upload the other day that I came out of retirement, but I really didn't because I never really actually retired, which is true. Um, I took some time out of the game, and I won't dabble into the real reasons why I think what's important in the message here is the fact that I made the courage to come back and, and play again after some time out. And where it all started was... I reckon almost coming up to four months ago, I was doing a normal run that I do on a, on a weekly night. It was about 10 p.m. And this run isn't really about fitness or condition. It's more about cleansing, release, a form of meditation style run. And it was around the oval. And on this particular night, for some reason, the memory of smelling fresh grass of a nighttime at a football game just really came back and hit me. And it was like, wow. Uh, this feeling is something that I'm being missing. And in that moment, I kind of made a decision, I want to play football again. So what I did was I allowed myself to let it go for a couple of days to understand, was it just one of those moments? And two days later, it was still strong, it was still powerful. And I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna set a goal that if this is what I want to do, I want to achieve by playing football again. And I reached out to one club without mentioning names. Um, it, it didn't go through. Um, it fell apart for a couple of reasons. So this little section is about overcoming hurdles and setbacks, and which was hard because you make you open yourself up to like, yes, I'm gonna do it now. And then to get an instant rejection and a setback with a few factors. Also, I had a little bit of an injury straight up, which was annoying because you're like. Okay, maybe I'm not ready, um, but I pushed myself because I was really excited and I trained a little bit too hard prior to going on to the training field, which therefore I wasn't conditioning enough and that's where I got a little setback. So that never went through and then after that week, um, I felt really shit, um, sorry for the language, and I felt like, okay, I'm, it's not the right thing to do, I should just maybe stop. Um, which was very hard because you get that little bit of excitement and then it just it hits you and it's like gone. But then I didn't stop because I found another opportunity around um, my current club, Hakawa, who I've signed with, was the idea of maybe I should just train with the club first. So I changed my mindset from putting in my mind, I want to play football. So instead of being out of the forefront of my mind, I put it in my back of my mind and what I wanted to really focus on was actually being happy while training and playing football during the week. And that was my decision to do. And the outcome was amazing because I actually ended up signing and making my debut on the Saturday with Hakawa. So the mindset shift and change was, I think the crucial point for me. It wasn't about forcing the goal that I wanted. I, I put in my mind, I wanted to reach the target in three months. Um, and I signed within three and a half months. So I almost pretty much hit my target um, of three months, so I was really excited about it. But the mindset around changing the focus on play football, play football, play football versus what I did was I changed around being be happy, enjoy it, be in the moment, enjoy every session that you are, and let's see what happens moving forward. Yes, in the back of my mind, it was there. Um, so I did that week in, week out, and I saw myself becoming stronger and fitter at training, adapting to Carl's training sessions, and you know, showing my experiences as well, being a little bit older than the rest of the team, they're quite young and fit. So that was another challenge too, because fitness is one of my strengths and I don't like to lose at all. So I I was putting in, still am, five to six sessions a week on top of, of the semi-professional standard of training because I don't want to lose and I want to keep up and I want to be better and better and better. And, you know, I played 90 minutes on the weekend for the first time in a very long time. And, you know, I come off sore, normal few knocks but I actually miss that pain um, of feeling of a game so really super excited about that and the mindset around training 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 and focusing on happiness which was the main thing I want to say is enjoy what you're doing and, and once you enjoy what you're doing only then will you only end up becoming better and then playing at a higher level for yourself and I think that was what was really cool about that um, and, you know, it's funny what three months can do in life. I know they say in football it's a three months is a very short time turnaround with or, or whatever. But in life in general, if you put your mind to something and you want to achieve it, 
You can. And I did that. And it's funny because some people I've spoke with were like, oh, you're too old. Um, you know, what are you thinking? And I'm like, well, irrespective of age, I don't feel old. I feel very young. I feel fit. Um, I didn't care about the opinion of what people thought. It's like what I wanted to do. So I needed to prove that I can. If I couldn't, fine. At least I did my best. And I think that's the success was the fact that I did the best for myself and I came from a pure place of true happiness. That's the success for me. Not so much signing a contract. That's the bonus. But the real success was doing the best that I can and continuing now. So the hard work has just begun for me with football. Um, I made my debut. It was great. I played really well. I was quite composed. Um, I had players around me who were really well and helping and, and it was, that was a great about the dynamic it was about a team effort and I really enjoyed being back out there both learning from all the players around me and also my experience and sharing with them as well um, very unfortunate not to win uh, I think they had one chance and scored it was you know one of those moments where keeper actually did a good save and just lost the flight of the ball and went in it was one of those moments but we did very well and I'm happy to be part of this team they're great lads and Moving forward now, the challenge is to maintain and improve on the standard of what I've been doing um, in training as well as on the field now. So it's one game in, there's 11 to go, hopefully finals. Uh, so there's a real challenge ahead for me, both personally and professionally, to keep going and driving, driving and succeeding. So I reset goals to hit more targets. Uh, so the message behind all this is mindset. Shift the mindset to a positive goal that you want for your yourself. Don't be so fixated on the external goal of, I want this. That's great. Visualization is very important, but don't force the visualization and see the wrong opportunity in it. Make sure it's a pure and it's what's gonna bring you happiness. And that's something that I had to do quickly after a week because it wasn't working. Um, I changed that and I'm gonna maintain it and keep working on it. Uh, so really excited to be back on the field. I've missed that competitive edge uh, to people that probably play st st stop playing sport understand um, how important it is to be competitive. I like to compete. I don't like losing. In fairness, obviously I'm respectful to the people that I lose to and I think it's the only way to win learn and improve. Um, but again, I'm not young, which is great. I don't care about that. I don't feel old and I'm up for any challenge that comes my way in football. So the key for me during the game was I set down um, targets and goals prior to kickoff, during the week that is, what, sorry, of what my role was as an individual and what my role was as, as in the team and what I needed to achieve. And 90% of what I set, I, I achieved, which was great. Um, I had a few little fantasy goals and two of them almost came off. One was I wanted to score uh, off a corner, the keeper made a save, which was... You know, decent save, but I wasn't the most powerful header, but it was on target and could have crept in. And the other one was I wanted to try and set up a goal. And I, I played a nice through ball to, to our winger who went one-on-one, one, one, missed. Um, so that was great that there were two opportunities out of my fantasy goals that I set to achieve. Um, so I think that's important too. To people out there, really put your targets down on what you want to achieve in your game. I don't think a lot of us do enough of it, especially the young boys. Um, it's strange because you get homework all the time at school and the reason for the homework is to educate and learn and to remind yourself of the point of studying to get that result. Nothing changes in football. Why can't you put just five points down that you want to achieve in that game? It's very, very easy. It's not that hard. Sorry, that's my dog creeping in. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's not that hard to achieve that goal. Um, do it. Visualize. Set your target. Set your goals and do it. Anything can happen if you really put your mind to it. Trust me on that. I can vouch for that because I've just done it with football and I'm super excited to be back playing. It's a really good feeling. Um, and, you know, I, I felt like I didn't leave. I felt like I was playing yesterday and that was a really nice thing to know as well out on the field. Um, playing 90 minutes. Again, I'm not used to artificial grounds. That's... That's one thing. I'm used to grass, fresh grass. So I've got a lot of cuts all over me from not being able to slide along artificial ground, which is a little bit annoying. But that's part of the, that's part of the sport. I think every team in, in the state league almost has artificial grounds. So maybe I've got to learn not to slide because um, I love a sliding tackle. So I want to I wanna reach out to a lot of people out here, whether you're young or old or whatever, in terms of 
mindset and and changing changing your your balance in in what you want to achieve i think that's important i want to hear what you guys have done or are in the process or feel a little bit a little bit stuck in what should i shouldn't i do or sh can i go that way or do i go this way it's very important to identify because if you've got that emotional attachment it's even harder because hello there's my dog oh they're trying to get involved uh, move please go leave go trying to be, <laughs> trying to be on camera sorry about that um so it's important to set these goals and really fine tune it to the point of is this what i really really want oh hello Yes, Blackie, you want to say hi? Uh, this is Blackie, everyone. And Charlie's over here. She got a thing on her face. Okay, enough, girls. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, stop. Stop. <laughs> enough, there. Okay, guys, I think maybe they're telling me to get off the video because I want to play. Um, it's their attention. Okay, so look, I'm going to wrap that up. Really excited that I made my debut. Super excited to be back in playing football. And the mindset about the shift is what I did to get back on the field by making pure happiness versus the goal of wanting to play football. Because playing football isn't really the purpose. It's about enjoyment and being out there and something that you love doing. And I felt like that love is there and it's really good to be back out there. So hit me up if you've got any questions or you can relate to this but it's great to story told between each other. Um, I know a lot of people have been private messaging me because they don't feel comfortable publicly saying it, which is great, not a problem. Um, I'm not, I, I was similar in that sense myself. Um, so please hit me up. Let's have a chat. Let's talk about where you're at and what you're doing. Thanks guys